We now want to find the slope of a line parallel or perpendicular to a given line. We will again use the fact that two lines L1 with slope M1 and L2 with slope M2 are parallel if M1 equals M2 and are perpendicular if the slope of the first line is the negative reciprocal of the slope of the second line. So let's begin by looking at the equation of the line y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 11. We want to find the slope of all lines parallel to L1. Notice here because y equals mx plus b that the slope of this line is in fact negative 2 fifths. But since we want the slope of all lines parallel, two lines are parallel if they have the same slope, so that means that every line will have a slope of negative 2 fifths will be parallel to this particular line. Suppose instead we're interested in the slope of all lines perpendicular to L1. Now in that case remember that our formula is M1 equals negative 1 over M2. So we have negative 1 over negative 2 fifths. So if we multiply the denominator and numerator by 5 we're left with negative 5 over negative 2 or 5 halves. So the slope of every line that is perpendicular to our given line is in fact 5 halves. Now you will notice here that this equation was in the slope intercept form, the nice convenient form. What happens if our equation is not in the nice form? Suppose we have 3x minus 5y equals 15 and we want to find the slope of all lines parallel to L2 here. The first thing we need to do is take this equation and convert it into the form so that we can easily find its slope. So if we subtract 3x from both sides, we have negative 5y is equal to negative 3x plus 15. Let's divide through everything by negative 5. So we're left with y equals positive 3 fifths x minus 3. What is the slope of line L2 here? The slope is, so, M2 is equal to 3 fifths. Find the slope of all lines parallel, so they would have to have exactly the same slope, so every line would have to have M equal to 3 fifths if it's parallel to L2. What happens if we're interested in the slope of all lines perpendicular? Once again, we have our m1 is equal to negative 1 over m2. So we take negative 1 over 3 fifths. You multiply numerator and denominator by 5, you get negative 5 thirds. So the slope of every line that's perpendicular to our given line will be negative 5 thirds.